You are watching BitBNS News. Hello and good morning. Right now the market is completely volatile and it is important for the users to get to know what is happening in the crypto world, what news is about crypto. So make sure to watch crypto news daily and keep yourself updated. Today's headlines. El Salvador's president New York Bukele purchased 80 bitcoins at $19,000 each. FCF paid to add support for Shiba Inu ecosystem coin Bone as payment method. Facebook launches NFT feature for select group of US creators. Dogecoin and Shiba Inu see active addresses jump over 30%. Ripple Government of Colombia said to utilize XRPL blockchain for land registries. Mastercard report 51% of the survey respondents have completed a cryptocurrency transaction in LATAM. Bitcoin drops 56% in Q2 2022, its worst quarterly performance in a decade. Crypto investors ready to deploy $25 billion once bottom is in. OneCoin founder Ruja Itnatova is now one of the FBS 10 most wanted fugitives. Hundreds of board app NFT owners sign up to hire out their NFTs to brands. Terra's crypto token UST and Luna Classic mysteriously pumped this week. UST climbed by 470%. Retail investors are buying the dip. Analysis. XRP network shows activity explosion, with the number of unique addresses reaching max in 2.5 years. Despite the prices of Bitcoin plunging to the new lows, El Salvador's president Nia Bukele seems to have unfazed by the ongoing bearish market sentiment prevalent in the market. Bukele tweeted another Bitcoin purchase earlier today, adding that he has bought the Bitcoin dip nearly 80 BTC for $19,000 each, costing a total of $1.5 million. Following the listing of Shiba Inu as a payment method on April 13, as reported by the Crypto Basic, merchants from across the world will be able to accept Bone ship swap as payment soon via FCF Pay as Bone has won the recently launched FCF Pay Twitter poll with over 70% of the vote. Meta has begun to roll out non-fungible token feature on Facebook just a week after Chief Executive Mark Zuckerberg had announced the plan. The feature will be initially open to a select group of US best creators similar to how company rolled out NFT on Instagram a month ago. On Instagram, NFTs are backed by Ethereum and Polygon blockchains with Solana and Flow support coming soon. Facebook hasn't announced if that will also be the case for NFTs. NFTs on their platform. Dogecoin and Shiba Inu, the two leading meme inspired cryptocurrencies, have seen a number of active addresses on their network jump well over 30% in over 30 period of time as prices of both crypto assets rose. According to the data from on-chain analytics firm Sentiment, over the past 10 days, Dogecoin saw a number of active addresses on its search 32% from around 123,000 to 137,000, while ships saw a 35% rise from around 3,975 addresses to 5,220 addresses. After a year of work, Ripple partner Parish Technology, a Barcelona-based software development firm, has announced to launch Colombia's first national land treasury on the top of XRPL blockchain. The solution hopes to register more than 100,000 adjections in the short term to guarantee confidence of Colombians. A new report issued by Mastercard, the payment processing giant, has found out that most consumers in LATAM have knowledge of what cryptocurrency is. The report states that more than than half of the consumers in LATAM have at least made a transaction involving cryptocurrency. Also, third of the survey declared that they have used stablecoin as a payment method. The magnitude of Bitcoin's ongoing slump is highlighted by the assets quarterly returns that have hit the worst value in over a decade as general crypto market sale-off continues. During Q2 2022, Bitcoin's price dropped 56.27%, a period when the asset plunged below crucial support is currently struggling to stay about $20,000. During the first quarter of 2022, the flagship cryptocurrency lost value by 1.46% after enjoying highly profitable last year. According to Quant Analyst Ju, investors have $25 billion worth of stable coins in exchanges that they can deploy once they are again ready to buy the crypto. According to Ju, the current dip has sent Bitcoin plunging below $20,000 from its all-time high of nearly $70,000 can be considered crypto market's first recession.